Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am doing this look for Valentine's Day. Uh, I don't know, I just think it's a lot of fun and a lot of people do more like the soft romantic look for Valentine's Day so I thought I would do something a little bit different and yeah it's kind of got a little bit of like purple colors in it, like a little bit of pink but mostly purple because I feel like a lot of people focus on the pinks and reds more than the purples for Valentine's Day. So I thought I would do something just a little bit different. So if you want to see how I uh, accomplished this look right here, then please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so I already, ha I already, I already have my eyebrows and my foundation on because I don't like to record that because it's just the same, same old. But I am going to be starting with my NYX HD Concealer. And this is in the shade mm, 01 is all it says. And I just take that and I put it on the center of my forehead. Down the bridge of my nose. A little bit on my Cupid's bow. I make the triangle with my eye area and then I try to really get up under my eye to get the dark circles and then I take it along the bottom of my face. around my mouth and a little bit over my eyebrows okay now that I have all that blended out I am just taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent with my large powder brush. And I'm using that to set pretty much all of my face, but I'm going to kind of avoid the under eye area and the center of my forehead, but mostly do my cheek area, my mouth, and my nose. Now for under my eyes and the center of my forehead, I'm taking the same kind of powder, but this is in the uh, Luminous Translucent, if you can see that. So it's kind of got a little bit of like a sheen to it. Nothing too crazy, but it kind of helps to highlight under the eyes. So I'm just taking this brush and using that to set my concealer. Okay, so now I'm going to start on my eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to prime my eyes, and just stick that on there, and I just take my finger and kind of rub her in. Okay, so for my eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the... A Kat Von D Starry Eyes Makeup Palette, and this is what that looks like. And I'll show you the inside. Yeah. And I'm going to be using these colors up here. And I have no idea how to pronounce whatever it is they're calling that. And then I'm going to be using my uh, Urban Decay Electric Palette also. Okay, for starters, I'm going to be starting with this center shade right here. And I'm taking just this large fluffy brush and picking that up. And I'm actually going to be making that my transition shade. So I'm going to buff this into the crease. And I'm just being very light handed with it because I don't want it to be too, too dark. Now I'm going to take this silvery shade with like this flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pick that up 
and I'm going to be applying that to my entire lid area kind of for a base. Now I'm taking the color Revolt in the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm going to use the same brush only I'm going to use it wet. Apply that to my lid. going to take that fluffy brush again with no extra product and just blend again. Now I'm just going to take this darkest shade right here with my new small shadow brush and just barely get a little bit of that color and put it on the outer corner and I'm going to zoom just so that you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to pick up this center shade again with the fluffy brush, just barely a little bit to blend it into that crease again. Now I'm taking my chocolate bar palette and I'm taking the color Milk Chocolate, which is right here, and it is a matte highlight shade. Since we have so much shimmer going on, I just wanted to highlight my brow bone with something without any shimmer. And I'm also going to take that in this inner corner. Getting a clean fluffy brush and blending away any harsh lines or messes that we have. Now I'm just taking a little powder puff and dusting away any fallout. Now for my eyeliner which is the most important part of this look I think and I'm using the elf cream eyeliner and this is what that looks like and I'm just using this small little um, eyeliner brush so that I have uh, a lot of control it takes a little longer because you have to build it up but I'd rather take a little of my time and not mess it up I'll zoom in so you can see so I'm going to start right on my lash line. Now I'm going to take this into my inner corner and draw a little peak with it. like so and then this is going to go thicker like so now we're going to start on our outer wing and we're going to take this pretty far out And we're going to kind of make it thicker and connected. It's going to be kind of thicker into the inner corner and then kind of go down and then into the wing like that. Now I'm going to do the other eye and then I will be back to do my lower eyeliner. Okay, so now that my top liner is done, I'm just going to take some black liquid liner and kind of go over it a little, just to darken it up a little bit. Okay, so for my bottom liner, I'm just using a plain black pencil. 
I'm not even sure what brand this is because it is wore off. I think it's LA Colors and it's just a black pencil liner and I'm going to color in my waterline and connect it to that wing and that little outer whatever you want to call that. And I'm also going to take this to my um, top waterline as well. Tight line that. Okay, so my eyeliner is done. So the last step with my eye look is to add the color for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to be using my electric palette. And I'm going to start off, I'm going to use the small end of the brush that comes with this. And I'm going to start off with the color Savage. And I'm going to add that to my inner corner, kind of under the eyeliner, kind of smudging into it. Let me zoom in so you can see. So I'm going to kind of smudge that underneath here. About to the middle. So now I'm taking the color Jilted and I'm taking that from the middle to the outer corner. And then I'm taking the darkest purple right here in the shade Urban. And I am just putting that on this outer corner. So now I'm just kind of dusting the brush off so it's not too dirty. And just kind of blending this so it's not so messy. Now I'm taking my LA Colors pressed powder in cocoa like always. And doing my contouring. Now I'm taking the same powder with a small angled eyeshadow brush and contouring my nose just ever so slightly. Now I'm just taking a clean kabuki brush and I'm going to blend this out. Now I'm taking this e.l.f. baked blush in the color Rich Rose. And I didn't want to use a very dark, I mean bright blush because we have a lot of color under our eyes and we're going to have bright lips. So I just wanted to have kind of a bronzier blush. Now for the finishing touches on the face, I'm taking my Airspun uh, Luminous Translucent Powder again with the same brush I was using earlier, which is just this cheap, I don't even know what kind of brush it's supposed to be, but I like to use it for this. I'm just taking that and sweeping it on top of my cheekbone and under my eyes. in the center of my forehead and I don't put it on my nose because I don't know I don't really like my nose and I feel like it makes it look bigger so I just kind of contour it but I don't like to highlight the bridge of my nose so and then I'm going to get my chin and my cupid's bow taking the brush that I was contouring with. I'm not putting any extra product on it, but I'm just adding a little shading under my lip to make my lips look bigger. Like I said, no extra product on it or anything. 
And then I'm taking my translucent powder without the, uh, not the luminous one, just the plain one. And I'm taking that just to add here to help sculpt out my contour, but not adding that shimmer effect either. So it just kind of helps define that just a little bit more. So if you can see the difference, this one has kind of that glow and then this one's a little bit more matte. And we are done with the face. Now I'm just taking my uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara and applying a thin coat to my lashes and my lower lashes. Okay, I'm going to add some falsies. Uh, I'm just using some Ardell Double Ups uh, in the style 206. They're my favorite. Um, I think it's 206. I think. I'm not sure. But um, any falsies would work. Uh, a dramatic um, fake lash would really complement this look. But then again, you could just do simple wispies or just none at all. But I'm going to apply them and I will be right back. Okay, so my eyes are done, and this is what they look like, and I kind of exfoliated my lips. Uh, I'm taking a NYX lip liner in red, and I'm going to put that all over my lips. Kind of leave the center blank and focus mostly on the outside. And now I'm taking Max lipstick in the shade Heroin, and this is what that looks like. And really focusing that in on the inner part of the lips. I'm gonna put it everywhere, but I kind of want the red to show just a little bit. Now I'm taking NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Raspberry Tart. This is what that looks like. And applying that to a whole lip. And I feel like that gives the lips a little bit of dimension with the red so that it's not just like purple, you know. I feel like it's got a little bit of oomph to it. So this is my completed look. I hope y'all enjoyed, I hope y'all try it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think down below. Send me pictures if you do try it. I'd love to, oh God, he's, I'd love to see them. And yeah, I hope everyone has a great Valentine's Day. And yeah, I guess that's everything. So now that I have nothing else to say, I will leave you with God bless, goodbye, and see you next time.